Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hooked on Hunting. I'm Eric Comfortable and today I'm going to do a little tutorial for beginners on duck calling. So yes, I'm doing a tutorial on basic duck calling. Or for beginners, I should say. As you all can see, i got my decoys on the wall. So just this, if you didn't watch my other video, go back and watch it. These are the rigs that I purchased from uh, Canadian Waterfall Supplies. Shabam! So, anyways, back on the video. So... A lot of people have uh, been asking me to do a little video on uh, duck calling for beginners and I just want to explain in no way am I a professional caller or claiming to be uh, excellent or professional or expert at calling ducks. By no means I'm not. I'm a beginner. I started calling ducks about two and a half years ago, three years ago I think. Yeah, I think it was three years ago. Yeah, just about three years. So anyways, let me get started. You got your duck call and yeah, yes, this is the one that I did buy. Also from Canadian Waterfowl Supplies and my other, other video. <laughs> so I'm going to use this one. Um, I've been using it quite a bit, practicing anyways. Try to get better with it. Hopefully I'm doing okay. So the basic quack. And, uh, and another thing I want to explain too is you don't need to do a bunch of fancy calling to bring the birds in. They're just a basic quack, a feeding chuckle. That's all you need. You don't need... You know, to do the hail call, comeback call, or lonesome hen, or Cajun, uh, Cajun squeal. You don't need to do all that stuff. Um, a simple quack, just... Bark, 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 bark. You know, just a simple quack like that. You have your decoys in the water, you have ducks coming in. Bark, 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 bark. So anyways, this is my call. Your finger here is like an L shape. You place it, the call in your hands like so. Wrap your hands around and cup. Make sure you have, say about a ping pong ball, maybe a golf ball size uh, gap in there. So you, it's called back pressure. You create back pressure as you call. And as you're blowing on your call, See, this is how it's going to sound if I'm, I'm not going to use any back pressure. This is how it's going to sound if I just blow into the call. So you can tell that does not sound like a duck. I mean, it probably will if the duck's pretty diseased or dying, but that's not what you want. Now get that nice, easy. Nice, easy quack. Now that's just a simple quack, and all you're doing is getting... A little burst of air into there, and it's not, and it's not. And also, another thing with duck calling is you're not using the air that's in your mouth. And I'll do an example of that. It's. Now you see the difference of, uh, you know, using your air in here is. doesn't sound like a duck at all. So you're going to use your diaphragm, the air that comes from in here is like you're exhaling. You know, see, it sounds much better. And it also really depends on how much air you're putting through your call. Your air control is very important because if you're just 
really heafing on her. <laughs> it's not going to sound good. Just nice steady bursts of air. That's all you want to do. You don't want to be putting too much air pressure in or too little. See, that don't sound like no duck. So, I'm going to turn the call around. I'm going to... Here's where you're blowing through, and here's where the air comes out. So entry, exit. So you take your, I'm going to take my, I'm going to blow through the exit now. So as you can hear, this is what it sounds like. As I'm going to turn around. So it's kind of like a... That's how it's supposed to sound, a little bit. Like I said, I'm no professional caller. I've just called ducks and they've come in and I get ducks. Simple. <laughs> so anyways, that is the basic quack. So it's just... You don't need nothing fancy. Uh, feeding chuckle. A little bit more... You're going to need a lot of air for the feeding chuckle. No, I've listened to a lot of ducks. A lot of them will do different sounds, different series of chuckling, I guess, in other words. So, you know, you can just do a simple... Simple chuckle. I've heard ducks do... Fast chuckling and a lot of chuckling, but most of the times all I hear is this. I see that's that's most of the times is what I hear. I don't hear a whole lot of. I don't hear a whole lot of that. I think what a lot of guys do is they have you know, four or five dozen mallard decoys. And especially if you only have one guy calling, the other guys aren't so experienced. You know, some might be doing the <laughs> simple quack. You have another guy doing comeback calls or hail calls or Cajun squeal. <coughs> Sorry, it's not Rona, I promise. But um, then you have another guy doing a feeding chuckle. And to mimic a whole bunch of ducks, the only one guy's doing a feeding chuckle, he's going to want to do more. You know, to mimic a whole bunch of ducks doing it. But if you're you're sitting in a place and you have one or two ducks out flying around by you or whatever, and you just want to lure them in, just... you know, give them a couple little high pitched quacks. Um, yeah, that's all I really gotta share with you guys. Oh, um. How I break down a feeding chuckle is more of a <laughs> so it's turning called in the back again backwards. <laughs> That's all it is. And again, it's with the pressure. You can't just <laughs> or <laughs> too high or too low. You got to get that pressure right. As you can see, my hand is kind of moving a bit. I do that just to make it sound like different ducks. You know, one. And also more, a little bit more realism. Because. That sounds like one duck having a heart attack. <laughs> oh, sorry. Having a heart attack. You know, and so you don't want to. Make. Uh, mimic. Multiple ducks doing the feeding chuckle, and again, uh, you don't you don't want to uh, overcall. Also, is another thing too. The important thing is reading the birds, reading what they're what they're doing, and observing on how they're calling or what calls they're making. And like, uh, for instance, you have you have a pair, you have a mallard, you have a couple of mallards coming in, and they're just you know letting off a couple of quacks. <laughs> Bah, 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 bah. 
You don't want to you know, go all crazy with your calling. No, you don't want to do that. Just and ducks in the water, and ducks flying, you'll notice that they make different noises. A duck on flying will. Duck in the water, don't do that. So if you make noises as you were in the air, you're not gonna have ducks coming in. They're they're gonna flare. They're gonna go somewhere else. They're gonna be like, okay, why is this duck making noises like he was flying, but he's sitting in the water? So I don't I don't, I don't get what he's doing. You want to make noises that are gonna bring the birds down, not send them somewhere else. So a, a simple quack, just. <laughs> You know, simple quacks like that, not You don't want to send ducks in a whole different direction. You want them to come down close enough so you can get a shot at them. And yeah. Oh, another scenario too is the, the whole feeding chuckle is ducks are flying around you, they're quacking, they're digging the hole. Ducks are, uh, well, any waterfall, in fact, like geese and ducks and blue geese, snow geese, uh, specks, they all have their own way of communicating with each other. And if, you're not, if you're not communicating properly with these birds, they're not going to want to come in. It's just, you can't, you know, you can't, it's like two people. You can't have someone speaking a different language. You don't understand what the heck they are saying. You're not going to. You're not gonna. You're not gonna know what they're saying. Hey, come here. You know, like, I don't know that language. How would I know what you're saying? So they take off. Ducks have ducks. All waterfowl and animals have their own language and how they communicate. And using these things is how we communicate with them, and how we get them to come in for a shot that's close enough. So yeah, communication is the key, as they always say. So yeah, that's about it for my video that's all I have to share nobody wanted me to go into depth about anything so I'm not going to unless you guys really want me to go into depth about decoying strategies and different calling tactics and scenarios and how to call and how to bring them in and all that sorts of stuff if you want more detailed stuff message me on Instagram or leave a comment down below on my video that when I after I post it and I will have a look I always read through my comments and I always tell people if they have any questions you can ask me it's always better to share knowledge than to hide it. Right? So anyways, with all that being said, I'm going to put this little call away now. With all that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos and also um, following my Instagram. I reached 500 followers about a couple of weeks ago. And I was very happy to finally reach 500 followers. A lot of you people are very supportive and very, very kind with your words, and I want to thank you all very much. So, thank you guys. I'm sorry it only can be one person. I can't give a pack of decoys to every single follower. So, as you can see, I got my Avian X six pack of teal. This is what I'm giving away. Oh, and I can't forget, hooked on hunting decal. It might be small, but it's not the size that matters. <laughs> so. Yes, I'm giving away a six pack of Avian X teal decoys. And how you win these is you go onto my Instagram and you like the post of the give the giveaway post. You like the giveaway post, you follow my account, you tag two friends in the comments on the post, you go to my YouTube channel and you subscribe. That's one entry. Alright. So the rules and all the stuff is on the post, so uh, if if you want to win, if you want to have a chance to win these decoys, go on to my Instagram. It's hooked on hunting. So I'll put, don't worry, I'll put the, the name of the Instagram in the description down below. I just want to thank you guys for staying tuned and watching another episode of Hooked on Hunting. Thank you very much, and I'm very comfortable.